What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and this is the SEC Football Channel. We're going to break down Missouri's recruiting class, the class that finished 36th in the country. Doesn't sound too bad, but that's actually 13th in the SEC. The only team that finished lower than them was Vanderbilt. Uh, and everything we use in this video is going to be from 24-7 Sports. I'm not going to have a lot of information on these players, but we're really just trying to see you know, what these teams needed, uh, what positions did they need players to, to potentially impact them right away and for the future, and did they get players at those positions? We'll break it down by position, uh, but first, just going to run through the, the list of names and, and the players and who they got and what they were rated, again, according to 24-7 Sports. Jelani Williams is their top player, a four-star safety. They also added a four-star offensive guard and a four-star quarterback, potentially the future quarterback. They got a ton of quarterbacks on this roster, by the way. Uh, they added Petway, a, a three-star inside linebacker, and then a three-star safety. Uh, so those are their top players. Again, only three four-stars in this class. C.J. Boone, a three-star wide receiver. They added uh, a three-star offensive tackle, another three-star wide receiver, a three-star defensive end, and then Martez Manuel, a three-star safety. Uh, so, again, that this was not a, a great class compared to the other SEC teams. I mean, we saw, I think, 11 or 12 of those teams. I think 11 SEC teams in the top 25 recruiting. So, I mean, it was just an unreal year for that conference. But Missouri uh, was a little bit uh, – they were left out a little bit. You had a another three-star defensive end, a three-star defensive tackle. They added a three-star safety, three-star tight end, another three-star safety, and then Zakor Brooks, a three-star defensive end. They added 22 total players in this class, and I did not see anyone that was enrolled early. Uh, everyone uh, going to be coming in the in the fall, I guess. They added a three-star defensive end, three-star outside linebacker, three-star offensive tackle, a three-star safety, three-star cornerback, and a three-star offensive tackle. Uh, so again, I'm not. This video is not really to give you much information on these players. We're just really looking at this at, from a team aspect. And what positions did they need? And did they get those positions filled? So here is the offense. And, and going into this, I looked at the roster uh, and this team. And I really didn't find any needs immediately for them. I mean, they, they're covered, really. The offensive line is set, quarterback position, uh, running back, receivers, tight end. I mean, there, there really were no needs for them offensively. I don't know if a single player in this class is going to start, uh, and I, I doubt they will offensively, and may not even see a whole lot of playing time, uh, any of these players, because uh, they've got this offense is set, I'm telling you, they're going to be pretty good on that side of the ball if Kelly Bryant can play well at the quarterback position. So they didn't really need much, you look at long term, I didn't really see a whole lot there either, they don't have a lot of players that are going to be seniors this upcoming season on offense, so the future is very bright for Missouri, this is a young roster overall, uh, and it was really just about adding depth. Uh, they added potentially their quarterback of the future. Uh, but like I said, this roster is loaded with quarterbacks. You've got Kelly Bryant. you got Sean Robinson, who transferred. Uh, there were two or three other quarterbacks, I think, already on the roster. So you're talking about five, maybe six quarterbacks on this roster. Yeah, some of those players are going to transfer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they've got way too many quarterbacks. Uh, but you did need to, to get a young guy that you can groom for a couple of years and maybe take over this program. Uh, after Sean Robinson, assuming he takes over after Kelly Bryant. I really don't know that. Uh, maybe could have added a little bit of depth at running back. They've got two guys with experience. Um, so that, that might be an area they could have done a little better at. They added a couple of receivers. They added a tight end, three offensive tackles, and a four-star offensive guard. So you get a, a very solid player. And you look at the, the roster for Missouri, and if you're just looking at at the recruiting ratings, uh, they don't have a four-star offensive lineman on the roster. Every offensive lineman that they have, uh, or at least the guys that are going to be playing this season, they're all three stars. So to get a four-star for Missouri on the offensive line is actually a pretty big pickup. Uh, like I said, they have, they didn't have a four-star offensive lineman on the roster. So that is uh, good for them on offense. Uh, we're going to move now to the defensive side of the ball. Uh, and if we're going to give them a grade on offense, I mean, we'll give them a B plus. I mean, they could have done better, I guess. Could have added a running back. Could have maybe got some more, uh, a couple of more four stars or something like that. But they didn't need a whole lot, so I think they did a pretty good job there. Defensively, this is where I felt like they needed more. 
really across the board, uh, especially immediate help they needed at linebacker and in the secondary, some guys to maybe fill into that rotation. Maybe not starters, but uh, again, just players that, that could maybe fill in to the rotation a little bit. A couple of guys there. Uh, long term, didn't I didn't really see any big issues here on defense either. I think they've uh, they've got some some nice young talent, so th I didn't really see that as being a big issue. But yeah, they could use some help at the linebacker position and in the secondary uh, as soon as 2019. They. I think did a, a, a pretty good job at that. We'll start on the defensive line, though. They added four defensive ends and a defensive tackle. I uh, don't really know if, if any of those guys are going to contribute right away, but it's good to build depth for the future. Added a couple of linebackers. I would have maybe liked to have seen them even add a, a third linebacker, uh, and perhaps one of those defensive ends will play linebacker. That's the thing coming out of high school. A lot of defensive ends are going to move to linebacker. You're going to have uh, linebackers maybe move to safety even sometimes. Safeties will play corner, corner play safety. Uh, guys are going to switch positions. So I think they did a good job there in the front seven. And on the back end, great job. Added seven players to the secondary, including six safeties and also a four-star there, their top player, top recruit. Uh, so I think they did a solid job there. Again, this is Missouri. If we're going to compare them to Alabama, this is a horrible class. But for Missouri and for what they needed, I'm going to give them an A on defense. They added a lot of depth, a lot of guys that I think could, could help them out. Uh, this year and into the future so uh, this was a pretty solid recruiting class overall for missouri again i'm not basing this off of overall talent if we're rating them off of overall talent they're probably a c but uh, when you look at, at what they needed and did they fill those needs i think it's an a minus class uh, very solid on defense and and they got uh, some good depth on offense as well so that's uh, my opinion on this Missouri recruiting class. We're going to wrap this thing up tomorrow with Vanderbilt. That will be the final team in the SEC. Uh, next week, we're going to move on to something else. I'm not sure, but I think what is coming up next is going to be we're going to go through each SEC team and we're going to give you the top 10 players on each team for 2019. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. Um, and if you're an SEC football fan and just came across this video, uh, recruiting is not really our main thing. We're going to try to get into this more in the future, but we do a lot of things when we talk about breaking down the teams, the rosters, uh, making predictions, and just doing all kinds of things during the offseason and then previewing games and uh, ranking, doing rankings and things like that during the season as well. So please subscribe if you're an SEC football fan. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports SEC Football Channel.